What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and for today's video we have a fuck ton of cards to talk about in today's video, but, but, but before but before we get into the video, my mom literally just texted me, hang on guys, Anyway, anyway, now, anyway, now, now that that's, now that that's out of the way, before we get started with, with, with the video, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more, more card discussions like this in the future, which get posted every Tuesday and sometimes on Wednesdays and weekends, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, follow me on all of my social media, my ads will be in the description below, as as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And the and you and right now, guys, we are we are drawing closer and closer and closer to 200 subs. We are now officially 48 subscribers away from 200. And as I have said in previous in previous videos, if this channel gets to 200 subscribers, yep, you guys see it. This sealed Korean Strike of Neos box will be opened in its, in its entirety on the channel. However, if the channel gets to a thousand subs, which, to be fair, is sort of wishful thinking, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box on the channel. So, 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 if, you, so if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, guys, because I'm telling you guys, there's going to be some fire pulls in in those boxes but what what card what cards are we talking are we going to be talking about in today's video well well we have the i be, i i'm i am presuming that this will be the last batch of new cards plus reprints that are going to be in in the brand new deck build set wild survivors as well as again 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 the reprints plus we have some brand new jump promos that I will be talking about as well. So hopefully you guys are ready and uh, let's get straight into it if my laptop will actually cooperate with me. Kicking things off, we actually have have Transcendent Flight, which is a normal which is a normal trap trap card that reads that reads target one dinosaur in either graveyard or that has banished special summon. This is basically this is basically DDR in 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 a normal trap for dinos. That's all it is. There's really not much not much to say about it. What's cool about this about this card is that you can actually activate it during during your opponent's end phase and 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 if your opponent doesn't have an out to that to to the summon, you're basically able to just combo combo off from there, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty ac which is pretty nice. Um, I believe that is for the Transcendrake archetype. Now we have a new card for the a brand new card for the Nouvelles archetype, and it is known as as Voici Voici la carte. Here is the menu. I believe is how it's pronounced. I if I butchered it, I apologize. I don't speak French, unfortunately, but it's a normal spell that that can only be activated once per turn, which reads, reveal two Nouvelles monsters with different names from your deck. Your opponent picks one for you to add to your hand and shuffle the rest back into the deck. Then you can add one of these cards from your deck or grave to your hand based on the added monster type. Beast Warrior... Beast Warrior, you can add fish recipe. Warrior, you can add meat recipe, which is actually pretty cool. So this is basically pot of duality uh, pot of duality, pot of duality spell and trap rota. That's ba basically it. Um, or I guess, 
I guess I, I guess a much more unique version of uh, of uh, what you call it? What's the card? Preparation of Rice. I, I, I think it is where, where you can add both a both the ritual spell and the ritual monster. I believe. I think so. I think so. But now we have we have a new card. I believe this is for the Vanquish Souls archetype. Yeah, yeah, yes, it is. Which is called which is called called Stake Your Soul, which is a normal spell that can be activated once per turn and reads re, reads. Reveal one monster in your hand, especially one Vanquish Soul monster from your deck with a different name, but the same attribute, but return it to the owner's hand during the end phase. So, it's a great way to... It's a great way to... To... Easily go into your link place, which is pretty nice. The only downside is that... Excuse me. The only the only downside is that you have to, um, you you have to have have a way to out the hand traps that will st that that can that, that can stop this card from being activated, and I think um, I think what is it maybe uh, what maybe I think Ash Blossom might be the biggest target of might be the biggest target of. For, for that card, so so that's that's pretty cool. Still, it is it it is a pretty cool card, but I will say, looking at the reprints for the set, um, this is gonna be rather unique a unique set. I I would say this will probably be on the same level as Genesis Impact. It's not gonna be like as like as meta defying, but it's still gonna be a pretty decent set. So. So for the, so for the, so so for the reprints that are in the set, we have Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, Giant Rex, we have Incantation, Incantation Candle, and Incantation Talus Mandra are the are the last reprints of the set. I, I think this is the last batch of cards that they're going to be in the set. Uh, we might there there might be more. Not so sure, but we will see. And my laptop is acting a fool. So with that being said, guys, let's talk. Let's now talk about the jump promos that are that we, that will be released. So first up, unfortunately, we don't have the effect of it, but but I can tell you that. Uh, Are you kidding me? Really? Guys, you you guys you guys might un, un, I know you guys won't be able to see the artwork of this card. I'm staring at it right now and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So you guys know you guys know Mystic Tomato. You ever heard of Mystic Potato? Yeah, we have Mystic Potato. I I don't know, guys. I'm I I don't fucking know. That's oh my god. We don't know it's we do not know it's attack and defense stats. We don't know it's effect. We can tell you it's a four star dark. It might be the same as Mystic Tomato, which I think was what a fiend? I think. But holy shit. All I can tell you is that is that is that the effect that its attack, it, its attack and defense stats, and its effect will be revealed on April seventh. So, 
Make sure you guys get ready for that. I'll probably talk about it at a later time after that, but, but get, get I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The, Konami has done some crazy shit. That might be, that might be the craziest one, the craziest one of them all. But speaking of jump promos, we have two new ones. One is for, is for the actual TCG. One is actually for, for Rush Duels. Which both I will I will actually talk about just for the hell of it. The Rush Duel card is known as is known as Ruthless Slash Mega Plunder, which is a six star Earth Dino Earth Earth Dino Vanilla with two thousand attack, fifteen hundred defense, and its flavor text reads a ferocious plunder plunderer that hunts under the cover of the moonlit night. It's razor sharp claws slice through, through its enemies. Okay, all right. I mean, I mean, it's I mean it's rush duel. I haven't opened up a single rush duel set ever. Um, I would like to, but those sets are stupid expensive. They are stupid expensive. But next up, we have Absolute King Mega Plunder, which I think they're about this. Aren't they like the same or something? Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Six star Earth Dino Vanilla, two two thousand attack, fifteen hundred defense. Literally the same as the other one. This one, this one's flavor text reads: "The king of the king of, the king of dinosaurs that rules over the earth. Its mighty roar makes its foes tremble in fear." Ooh, okay, all right, not too shabby. Now for the brand. Now for the next one. I believe this is the last one to talk about on the channel. And we have a couple. We have, we we actually have have a few. So get ready, guys. So first up, we have Burning Dragon, which is a which is an eight star fire dragon, twenty five hundred attack, twenty one hundred defense. Literally the same attack and defense stats as Dark Magician, which is hilarious. Uh, both of its effects are once per turn, and the first effect reads: If this card is in your hand, and your opponent controls two or more monsters, you can special summon this card. If if this card is normal or special summon, you could discard a spell, destroy all spells and traps on the field. Holy shit. Oh my god. It's a fucking Cyber Dragon Heavy Storm. Dude. That's nuts. That just that just that second effect right there is nuts. It's a Cyber Dragon Heavy Storm. But, if you don't want your back row to be destroyed, you gotta use, you gotta use up the back row, and then use Burning Dragon's effect. That's actually pretty nuts, though. That's, that's pretty cool. Next up, we have, oh god, Three-Eyed Ghost, which is a three-star Dark Fiend. 900 attack, 800 defense. Uh, the effect is a once per turn, which reads, you can send this card from your field to the grave, add a, add a level 10 Dark Monster from your deck to your hand. Oh, fuck. Fuck, okay. So, this is essentially a... Ro this is essentially a Stratos. That's actually pretty nuts, though. So, 10-star... 10 10-star 10 Dark Monsters. What would be... What would be some good 10-star targets? What, maybe... Uh, maybe Rainbow Supreme King of Dark World? I, I think it is. Um... Let me check Nexus. Let me check Nexus. I will go to a random deck. I'll choose this one. Which is this random like meta like Gig Guardian deck that I discovered which by the way guys I will be doing a gig guardian deck sometime in the next couple weeks I've been meaning to up to do to do the profile of the harpy lady deck because of the ban list so make sure you guys get 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 ready for those deck deck profiles um so let's see let's go here let's go monster um Okay, ability attribute. Uh, attribute. I need dark. T 
10. Let's go all. And search. And it doesn't show anything because it won't let me. All right, so let's try the norms. Really nothing? Not a single 10 star normal, huh? Oh, here we go. Okay, so... So, let's see here. 10 star dark, right? That's what it said that I can search? 10 star... A 10 star dark. Okay, so... So... Okay, so... So the 10 star dark monsters that they can add are cards such as Machina Ruin Forest, um, uh, Malefic Paradigm Dragon, Raviel Shimmering Scraper, Darkness Neosphere, The Wicked Dread Rue. Uh, uh, the original Raviel, Cosmo, Cosmo Dark Planet, that's, that, that's actually pretty funny. Cosmo can actually run, 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 run the three-eyed ghost, that's hilarious. Uh, Fenrir, the Nordic Wolf, the Malefic, literally all, all, all the Malefics. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, Colossal Fighter Assault Mode. Uh, the Earthbound Immortals, some of the Dark Lords, Mech Lords. Uh, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. Uh, Red MD as well. Um, which is pretty nuts. Uh, Dark Lords I mentioned. That's actually that still that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Even also ten thousand dragon and even also Exodia the legendary defender. That's pretty nuts though. That's pretty cool. That's that that's pretty cool. So pretty much like any 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 ten star monster monster you can add it add it from your deck to your hand, which is really nice. Um God, I swear, I swear with all these different shits, my laptop is slow. So, again, again, basically, it's a, it's a Stratos. That's pretty nice. Not much, not much to say, to, 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 to say about it. Um, is it, 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 is it gonna change, change the meta? I really don't, don't think so, but still, it's pretty, it, it's a pretty cool card. Next up, we have Rose Papillon, which is a, which is a three-star wind insect, fourteen hundred attack, eight hundred defense, and I think this is the last one. Yeah, the last one. Um, fourteen hundred attack, eight hundred defense, and it has two separate effects. The first one reads: During your main phase, you can tribute summon a level seven or higher monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Second effect reads: If you if you control another insect monster, this card can attack directly. Oh my god. Okay, this is basically this is just a way. A way to just combo off. It, 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 it's a pretty good card. Um, is it is insects even gonna do anything to to the meta? Let's be real. Insects are never gonna be meta. Even even if they were, they'd probably be like tier two at bet. Like not tier two, maybe tier three. Like somewhere in like in in like the rogue area. But guys, that's it. That's that, that's gonna do it for today's video. This brings me to the question of the day, which is this. Which, which is this? Among among the three archetypes in Wild Survivors, which one are you gonna be playing the most? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, you guys want more card discussions in the future, which get po which get posted every Tuesday. And sometimes on Wednesdays and weekends. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. And follow me on all of my social media. My ads will be in the description. As will the info to my fan mail. Which will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.